yes yes hello everyone welcome back into this video and welcome back into now max tv in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can draw a table by using uh, microsoft office word you are you, you are working in microsoft office word and you want to be drawing a table using a pencil so you don't need to uh, always uh, draw a table by coming here and inserting the automatic table like this one so this is different and you can be uh, choosing to draw your own table in different way by using a pencil that is what you want to do normally uh, when you want to be drawing a table you know that you come in your microsoft office word and you go and you click on insert so once you click on insert option that is where you proceed and uh, draw a table but in this video is going to be different uh, because we're not going to be inserting a table like this one uh, we're going to be also uh, drawing a table by using a pencil uh, which is a different option so they are going to be working as both ways of drawing a table but uh, you can be asking yourself how can you be drawing a table by using a pencil as well so remember to subscribe to this uh, channel normax tv like this video share this with your friends if you have any question or suggestion remember to leave it in the comment section without wasting time let's get started uh what we need to do uh we need to go to our microsoft office word as i have opened it here so this is very simple uh if you have opened it uh, already so you need to come here and click insert as well we go to the next the same option so after this you need to be uh, clicking on this uh, drop down menu so this drop down option you can see that i have pencil here that i want to be uh, using to draw a table as you can see so what i need to do i'm going to be clicking on this option as you can see after clicking on this option i have a pencil in my microsoft office uh, wet uh, that i'm going to be working uh, with what you need to do it's very simple you need also to start drawing uh, a table or whatever i want to be drawing so for instance i want to be drawing uh, the table here you can see i started with having one uh, like one cell uh, which means i can be able to transfer this uh, by having this one i can be able to uh, to divide it into different tables i want so it's very easy and it's very simple and also it's a very uh custom way is that you can be using to be having a table which is different uh, from the ones you can be uh be inserting the table automatically as i have this one i can even be classifying this one and also be able to draw horizontal lines in it i can be able to draw another horizontal lines in it so you can see uh, where it is uh, now stopped i can be even drawing this one for instance, I want to be putting the lines here, which is going to be divided there. So it's going to be simple. I can even be wanting to add another one uh, here below. So this is very simple as well. So you see what I love if I click in this one, I want to be adding another box. So as you can see, if I click there, I want to be uh, removing or oh, my, my pencil is disappearing. I have to make sure that it's coming back. So here, yeah, but also doing this, you can be even coming here, draw a table again. That is where the pencil is going to be coming back. And also you can choose to be uh, making a drawing like this one. So you can be uh, adding the line, which is uh, now uh, diagonal like this one. So I have pencil uh, eraser here, which I'm going to be deleting anything I want from this my table. And also I can be remaining is the table with that kind of data that I'm wanting so if i come here back and also click on this one so if i click on this option table you see i'm having the table but also i need to be ensuring that i draw the borders it's all about you what you want to be uh, changing uh those are going to be customized to every details and also you can come back here at the, bo the bottom of this one and be able to draw a table again you can see i have table which has been distracted but i can be drawing a table again and also i can be ending up having the table that i want to be having so let's suppose that we want to be uh maybe uh, deleting some context of this table and we may be uh first of all uh, if i click on this one table so now i come to uh, borders i come to draw table so i want to be uh, adding every line that i want to be adding here so after adding everything that i want to be adding 
I want to be having the normal table as I used to be having it before. So now you make, need to make sure that you have the table you wish. So uh, now I have this one and I can be also able to uh, draw it uh, to be smart table that I want to be having. So let me have it, uh, let me draw this one. So you can be uh, the the best benefit of this option is that you can be able to add custom uh, tables and lines uh, which are going to be very simple and very easy. You can see I'm drawing uh, the lines in this way which is which also might be uh, complicated when it comes to drawing the cast the resetting the custom tables that I used to be uh, normally having so I can be able to do this one draw this one and also be able to add this one yes so add this one so you can see now I'm, I draw a complex table here, which is going to be different from the ones I should be inserting uh, there. Uh, manually, if you see, if I can to insert, I'm going to be counting how many tables are to be inserting, which is going to be different. And also, if I come here, I can even be uh, normally use it the, the same way as use the other tables. For instance, I can be able to add uh, shapes. I can be able to shade the table. So I can be able to come in design table and also be able to come here and be able to uh, yes, it's up to you to insert the pencils that are going to be using to draw. For instance, uh, this pen I have also used uh, mark is a blue. Let me, for instance, use it as lead one and also go back to this one, draw this one. So if I come here, I can be drawing with, by using the lead lines can see uh, you can see I can be able to use this one so now you can be even uh, coming back here to the tables and you can see I can be uh, increasing the lines so if I come to the feet of the lines that is why I can be able to have the line which is now uh, having the weight like this one it is a heavy line you can be having the table like this one so as you can see, this may might be uh, very hard to have it if you have started the, the table automatically. And also, if I have drawn it like this one, it's going to be working and I can be having the data here, which is a normal way. I'm going to be clicking here and the pencil is going to be disappearing to three, four, five, six, four. Now you can see now I'm having table which is different. So here you can be typing or writing the information you want in this table. And also you can be able to draw the table in the any form that you are wanting. So thank you for watching uh, this video. This is how you can be drawing a table by using a pencil in your Microsoft Office Word. And also if you want to be doing this, uh, the steps are easy. You need to go to insert option and also be able to draw the ball you can be also able to customize it by using borders option and also by changing the weight of the lines and uh, you cannot even be able to add just uh, the features by making sure that the table you have done is meeting is your table requirements so remember to subscribe to this channel right this video if you have any suggestion or comment remember to leave it in the comment section